Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode. Just kidding, I can't say yet another because this is the first another. Another episode of Gold Plays Pokemon White Colorized Randomized Nuzlocke. Holy crud. So, last episode, got my starter and got to this nice little nickname screen here. Now, I do have a nickname. I didn't get it from a comment. It's actually based on a suggestion that Areem gave me, so here we go. Uh, Ereem suggested Skarmory or Busted Skarmory. I'm not doing either of those because, well, Busted Skarmory doesn't fit and Skarmory is the name of another Pokemon. So, our Pidgeot, our Steel-type Flash Fire Pidgeot, shall be called Busted. I am okay with the nickname Busted. Why do you think... Of course it's a great name. It, it describes it perfectly. Also, Bianca's just like, what the heck is a Pokedex? How do you Pokedex? Alright, so we got we got all that going on. Whoops. Did I... Uh, okay. I think I accidentally hit no there. I love in Pokemon games when it it's just like, Here, we'll give you a choice to do this stuff. Hit, hit yes or no, and it's like, no you're not. I'm gonna hit no and you're gonna put me into an infinite dialogue loop. Until I hit yes. My cat is here. Uh, guest starring my cat, although I'm not doing face cam, so you can't you can't see my cat, but he's here. He doesn't look like he's gonna meow. Oh well. Oh, it's okay, Pip. He he wants he wants my full attention, so I'm petting him with one hand as I continue playing with the other. <laughs> All right, so I have an X transceiver, a map, whatever cross transceiver. Sorry. So okay. Basically, what's gonna happen this episode is I'm gonna I'm gonna get my first Pokemon, and then I'm gonna get well not my first Pokemon I have my first Pokemon actually that reminds me. Uh, I want to check Busted. What nature are you? Mild nature. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so okay, is that a boost to special attack? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't lower attack. Uh, it's not modest, so it wasn't an absolute slap in the face. I still don't know which stat is Pidgeot's better stat, uh, just in general, but okay. So we're going to do this thing. Here's what, here's, <laughs> speeding up again. Here's what's going to happen this episode. I'm going to get, I'm going to get my Route 1 Pokemon. The Nuzlocke officially starts at, can we, can we just look at this Pat Rat for a second? Like what, what's going on? His eyes just melted into his face. Like, otherwise, he looks nearly identical to the normal Pat Rat. How do you pronounce that, anyway? Pat Rat? Pat Rat? Matt Pat? Could be Matt Pat. Look at that. Look at those 30 Pokeballs. Holy crud. Anyway, so the Nuzlocke officially begins the moment you get Pokeballs. So, had my Pidgeot fainted up to this point, I would have been fine. But now I have Pokeballs. So, the Nuzlocke officially begins here. Now... I'm sure some of you are wondering, okay, this is where the Nuzlocke is starting, when does it end? Now, a lot of people like to end the Nuzlocke at the Elite Four, and with Pokemon White, I think some people end it with the Elite Four the second time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the Nuzlocke when I beat all of the strongest trainers in the game, of which, after the Elite Four, there are only two, Cynthia and that Game Freak guy. But, here we go. Let's see what our first Pokemon is. This is a... Ooh, hello. I like this Octillery's colors. Okay, so this is an Octillery right here. It might just be... It might be a Steel-type. I might have just gotten another Steel-type. So I'm going to use Round. We'll find out what type it is. Round is also my weakest move, so it has the lowest chance of absolutely murdering it. Yep, okay. It should live another gra uh, round. And yep, this is definitely Steel-type. It just used Flash Cannon on me. Wow, that did nothing. I'm gonna use another round. I hope I don't crit. I should have should have thought that through. Um, okay, good. And yeah, okay. So we have two steel types right off the bat. We have two steel types. That's fine. Great. Um, I don't know what to name this thing. I didn't think it through. So I'm just gonna. What? All right, dude's just busting out. 
that this might actually be bad because even though he's just doing chip chip damage to me, he does continue to lower my special defense. Uh, so I definitely need to catch this thing. Come on. Get into the ball. I only have five, which is horrible because this thing might have a low catch rate. Okay, no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Whoops. Sorry, ignore that. I'm just drinking something that has ice in it. So, okay. Oh, it's Grass Steel! So, I just got a Ferrothorn. Um... What do I name you? What do I name you? Well, I'm not doing the thing where I leave it up to the comments or Reem to name my Pokémon. So, I'm gonna call this thing... I'm gonna call this thing... Huh. A, gra a Grass Steel Octopus. I feel like, I feel like there's something in there. I feel like there's a joke in there. Uh... Pfft. Why are nicknames the hardest part of this series? L like, legitimately, the, the most difficult part of this series for me is gonna be nicknaming Pokemon. You know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just name you after a friend. What are you, what are you, female? You're female? Alright, I'm gonna just name you after a friend. So your name shall now be... Eve. Whoops. Alright, so we, we got Eve the Grass Deal Octillery. Let's let's see what this thing has going for it. Very exciting. Grass Deal. Crazy. Uh, definitely... De oh my goodness, that's actually... Has Water Veil? Prevents Pokemon from getting a burn? Well, you know what, I'm not leaving you in on a fire type, so... Oh my goodness, it has Power Whip and Solar Beam? This thing's gonna be a powerhouse, holy crud! I already see this doing work. Alright. Got a naughty nature. Uh, raises attack, lowers something else. I can't. I can't see blue on this screen. Hang on. I. I think I said this last episode, but I use flux. So until I turn it off, everything is very yellow. And now that I'm looking at this artillery without the yellow, uh, it just looked really blue before. But now it looks even nicer because it's kind of got like the blue green thing going on. I like that. I like that. So it raises attack, lowers special defense. Fine with me, neither of the attack stats are actually lowered. Um, so there, there we have it. There we have it. Shut up, Discord. Do I gotta turn you off right now? I do. That's happening. Okay, so. Let's go back, get that healed up. I'm gonna speed that up. So yeah, as I was saying, this Nuzlocke will end um, the moment I beat either Cynthia or the Game Freak guy, whichever comes first. But before I beat them, I will try and do everything this game has to offer. So that means getting items, um, fighting trainers, like basically everything I can. And we got this Mischievous here. We got this Mischievous here, so it's definitely... It's definitely some kind of... Maybe dark type. Once again, I need I need that I need that color spectrum chart. With with the uh, color randomizer, there came this chart that shows you so like what the what the types are according to their color. Whoops. Stay stay doing your thing, Desmondware. What are you doing? Okay, so this thing, I think this is actually just ghost, which is hilarious because that's what Mr. Vist normally is. So I'm just gonna iron head this. Get my EXP. Uh, I... Whoa! That thing fell straight down. That thing just... It died. No no way around it. I don't want swagger. As much as I... As much as I like the idea... Of swagger... I... No. There's no need. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put Eve in front so that she can get some EXP, because Busted is already level 9, and there is no need for that. Does Busting make you feel good? Ghostbusters. I haven't seen the new movie. I kind of want to, just so that I can actually formulate an opinion on it. Alright, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a, we're looking at a blue Mareep. We're looking at a dark blue Mareep. This might be a flying type. In which case, that's not actually very good for me, but I am Steel Grass, so I think I can afford to just Flash Cannon this as more accuracy. He used Metal Claw, so I'm not only going to be fine, um, I've just discovered this is a Steel type. Okay. Uh, to be honest, at first, I was kind of disappointed because I thought that it would just, the, the color randomizer would just change the hue on Pokemon, 
but now that I've seen what it does with dual types, like with artillery, it's actually pretty sweet. Um, and I can't wait to see what kind of combinations can exist, because like, imagine like a, imagine like a, a normal dark Rayquaza, like a nice yellow purple. Rough skin. Rough skin, steel type married. Why are there so many steel types? What, what is this randomizer doing that I'm finding like only steel types on the first route? Did, oh, did I do that? Did I select that option? I think there's an option with wild Pokemon that you can... You can make... Ooh. Okay, this is actually interesting. So this thing... Ooh. I don't know what this thing could be. Uh, purple and blue. So it could be like Psychic Flying? Psychic Ghost? We'll find out, we'll find out. Uh, let's just go straight into the Busted. I don't want to take any chances. I don't want to take any chances with that. It's really more of a per- Okay, okay, so it's definitely- Oh, wait, Night Days. Night Days is kind of scary. I guess, I guess it actually isn't, though. So that, uh, definitely part Ghost. And definitely KO'd. Alright, part Ghost, part Toast. What if there was a Toast type? Imagine with me a Bread type. Also, did Eve just grow two levels from one Ninjask? That's crazy. I'm gonna, I want to do a little bit of level grinding before I reach in. Um, I might edit it out if I feel like I don't say anything interesting while I'm doing it. Except we immediately get like this dark type Combuskin. Um, normally I'd be afraid to switch into my my uh, Pidgeot, but. Busted can definitely take a hit or two. It's five levels above this Combuskin, and it's a Ghost type. Er, is Night Days Dark? Could be Dark type. Both Dark and Ghost were not very effective on Steel in Gen Five, though, so I can't really, I can't really say. Yeah, but like, look at all the look at all the Monotype Pokemon. Like they are just kind of boring. Because it just changes their hue, and that's it. And what is going on with this guy? What typing is that? Are you like a... You like a dragon type? You an ice type? I don't know what typing that can be. That's super awesome. That's cool. I like that. Once again, they're gonna switch into busted. Don't want to take any risks. Uh, oh wait. It's level 2. I could have stayed in. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's find out what move this uses, though. Energy Ball. So it's definitely partially grass. And it would have been more than fine to stay in with Eve. Um, given that it's partially grass, I think Round will actually do more damage. Good times, good times. Oh my goodness, I almost killed... Worry Seed! Oh no, my ability! Whatever will I do without it against this grass type? You know, that actually does kind of scare me, though, if I run into, like, a grass fire type. Ooh. That could... that could destroy me. It could. It honestly could. Okay, let me just... I'm speed. I might speed this part up. Again. If you hear me saying this, it's clear I didn't. This is an ice type tranquil. Um, I think. There's... it's definitely partially ice. It might also be partially dark. It could be water. Let's find out. I can I can definitely stay in and take a hit, I think. I'm gonna power whip this thing. It soaked me! Oh no! I'm a water type. Doesn't matter. You just got power whipped. You're gone! Oh my goodness! That tranquil died. Alright. I really I, I cannot I cannot say enough how much I like the palette on this artillery. Just the green and the blue, it goes together so well. Excuse me? You want to just give me Leaf Tornado? It's definitely better than Solar Beam as far as, like, everything goes. This attack may also lower the target's accuracy. Like, yeah. Because Solar Beam, it's powerful, but I gotta wait a turn unless I get a... Unless I get a... a what you call it? Um... A Pokemon that can set up the sun. And even then, I don't want a Pokemon that can set up the sun on a team with a Grass Fire type... Grass Steel type, sorry. I just called Octillery Grass Fire, which would be hype. I want to see a Grass Fire type. Like, I don't think one exists in Pokemon yet. Like, even with Pokemon Sun and Moon, I don't think there's a Grass Fire type yet. So, alright, in the interest of not over-leveling, let's just go ahead 
get up to these guys. Yep. Yep. Got got a nice little extra transceiver cross transceiver conversation. Let's go. All right. So I can just. Oh my goodness! Not this. You know what? Since I'm in here. Since I'm in here. I'm actually going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that she wants me to use the PC. And... Okay. Oh no, we just move on. Well, I'm going to take advantage of that. And set up my... My alive and grave boxes now. After I buy some Pokeballs. You can never have... You can never have too many Pokeballs. I'm going to go ahead and start with seven now, just so I have ten. And then I'm going to get a potion. I'm not sure what my emulator is doing. That it, um... Yeah, look at that. After I buy something, it's just blank until I press twice. I'm not sure what that is. Not sure what's going on there. Um, we'll figure that out later. I don't know. So let's go ahead. Someone P someone's PC. Someone's doing stuff in their PC. I don't know what's going on there. Let me go ahead. In this box. So I'm just going to go ahead and be, be simple. Be nice and simple. going to call this box Alive. going to call this box Rip. Rest in peace. Whoops. I almost, almost called it Pip, which is my cat. He might respond to that. He did. <laughs> and actually, well, what's this wallpaper? You can't have no city in a, in a wallpaper for death. Gotta have, gotta have, gotta have some, gotta have some, some death looking stuff. Gotta have... None of this makes me think of Graveyard. What, what am I supposed to do here? You're, you're giving me nothing to work with here. I know you don't want them to be grave boxes, but... There we go. Nice, nice and simple. Nice little, like, got that, got that, like, they're ascending to heaven thing going on. Actually, now that I said that... Boom. When they die, they go up into whatever this Pokemon heaven thing is, and while they're alive, they're still down here, so it's, like, nice and grassy. Whatever. Alright, so I have all of that set up. Let's go ahead. And do some do some fighting with N. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Let's have a look see. Does anyone does anyone actually say that, I wonder? Let's have a look see. I wonder. Anyway, Busted is gonna go ahead and take the lead just in case N starts with some sort of powerful fire type. <laughs> Gold, come here a sec, even though you're standing literally right next to me. Alright, so we got we got Getsis doing his thing. Gets us being all shady. You people are abusing your Pokemon by keeping them in balls, which is what most people would think, even though Pokeballs are designed for comfort. That sounds like a that sounds like a slogan for a mattress. Pokeballs are mattresses. Pokemon are controlled by mattress companies. We just don't know it. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, N. I love N's theme. Good times. I wish, I wish that N got palette randomized. That would be fun. A Beldum. Oh my goodness! I think it's a fire type. So it's it's good. I have flash fire, but the problem is with not being able to tell. Um, it could also be a fighting type, which is very very scary. So I'm gonna go ahead and iron head it. If it's not very effective, it's fire. It. Oh no, 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 I don't like it. Tank it, tank it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was so scared. I was very, very afraid. Because, like, like, I know it's a Beldum versus a Pidgeot, but you have to be super scared of the super effective stuff. Like, it's, it is scary. Also, that N is a Scribe. I think it just turned Pokemon Trainer into Scribe. Also, what do you mean, Pokemon, as long as they're in po- You- you gotta see Mega Evolution, bro. I hope... I hope... That... If there is ever a black and white remake, and we're talking... We're do this is like years in the future that we're talking right now, because if a black and white remake happens... Like, it's gonna be after a Diamond and Pearl remake. And if you do that, it's gonna be... Like... <laughs> Even, even, actually, to be honest, even a Diamond and Pearl remake feels a little fast. Also, I just realized something. I think there's an item? No, that's the next town. Is there really no items hiding around here? Maybe this trash can. It's a trash can. Feel free to visit it at any time. Okay. Uh, maybe there's one hidden. 
there's not. Okay. Um, well, the reason I... The reason I was looking for items is, as I said, I randomized those as well. Um, but, actually, for the time being... Let me go ahead and stand in this nice little grassy field. For the time being, until the next episode, I certainly hope you enjoyed this one. Next episode, I'll be going through Route 2, fighting some trainers, catching another Pokemon. I'm personally just waiting until we see a Legendary, because the moment I see a Legendary, and I can catch it... Like, I, I, wanna, I wanna catch that, like, Dragon Flying Kyogre. Let's go. Is it Kyogre or Kyogre? Pokemon pronunciations are great. Um, that's a thing. Anyhow, I'm also going to level grind a bit in between episodes. Uh, maybe just get them both up to, like, level 11. But, with all of that being said, once again, I certainly hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Golden Warrior, signing out.